Ah, good evening, everybody. This is Saki Nakata Stuff Final Two MA 2023 here, and uh, if you can't see the title, then uh, or if you haven't read it, then be prepared, as this is a very early Christmas present for me and for you guys to look at here. So remember when there was the RTX in uh, Rooster Teeth at the convention of Rooster Teeth for, well, Anime Con 2, a.k.a. RTX. I was dressed as Yuki Makoto from Persona 3, the anime. Oh, and I forgot to say, uh, you can do the four uh, notifications to like, comment, subscribe, and hit bell notification, etc. But getting back to the video, because I'm sorry I forgot that, um... It's an early Christmas present, like I said, from RTX, which was just a gift that I won over in Texas, was the ray gun, if you don't remember me, like, doing my skit, and going ahead and just doing a review of the ray gun. Well, now, as an early Christmas, as an early Christmas present here, I have, like, a little, uh, it's like a little keychain thing. You have multiple things of them to put on... And what goes on them are none other than these keys. You have the club key, and you have the heart key, the diamond key, and the spade key. No matter what, if it's from original Resident Evil 2 or the remake from 2019. You have... This key, this one, and, uh, and this one. And the heart key, which, if you guys remember inside of Resident Evil Original, both characters could get the heart key and the spade key. Now in the remake, something that I like is that the only playable areas for the heart key is for both, well... In one section, anyway, is for Leon and Claire, but Claire only gets this key as a special key. And as a special key inside of um, Resident Evil 2 Remake, this one's for Leon. Other than that, they have the nice, like, uh, little... Oh, it slid out of the little pocket thing there. This is collector edition items, by the way. So... Let's go over this. As you know, all characters can go ahead and get all the keys. This is obviously the remake, um, little, like, thing here. To make it look like it's a toy key, but this, if you can hear this, that's actual metal. This is awesome. I've always wanted a Resident Evil, like, collector's edition thing. And there you go. Now your boy has had it. He's got it. Let's see if I can put the key back in here right quick. It's not that heavy, but that's also a very good thing. I don't know if I'll be putting them into a keychain, but it's something along the lines of that. I want to see about the uh, key here. The, uh, the diamond key. Oh man, it glares it glares off pretty well. This is pretty awesome. This is cool. And I'm actually happy to have this. When you look at it closely and you inspect it, it's got the like little glare from the game itself. And it can't break cuz it's actual metal. However, if you smelted these, which why would you do that? Then it would be broken. And then you can also pretend with this uh, special edition stuff. That you can go ahead and like actually unlock stuff. It's pretty cool. This is awesome. Honestly a big thanks to my mom for finding this. This. This is really really cool. It's in there. There we go. 
It had a, like, a little bag that it comes into, along with a little, like, package thing. I'm gonna try to fit the keys back inside here. With, like, their actual packaging on them. I, I have, like, nothing other to say other than really cool. And I honestly hope that Capcom releases Resident Evil 9 on all platforms, or maybe Code Veronica for a remake. I really want a Code Veronica remake, because my version of Code Veronica on my Xbox One, it plays, but you don't get any achievements for it, as you can get achievements for on PS4, 5, or Xbox. Uh, I don't get achievements for it, because it's kind of corrupted in a way, it doesn't save the game anymore. Which, big sad, really big, really sad, really, that's just, like, really sad that my code Veronica no longer saves. Anyways, this is just a special video for all us Resident Evil fans. And, in the packaging box it came in with, it came with, like, this, and there's, like, the outlines of the keys in there and stuff, but... Really nothing special there. And then once you're done with it at the end of the day, you can go ahead and fit it back on there. And then you can put like the little keychain thing back on there as well. It's pretty cool. I like this. This is actually neat. I really never thought like when I was little, just like a little like in-depth lore thing of me myself. I always looked at people on YouTube and, like, they had ray guns and stuff. I was like, how did they get all this? And then they had all this stuff. So, yeah. Now you boys got them. It's pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys liked this video, this is a real short video, but the next one will probably be my uh, anime manga continuation of... Well, you know, Mindset of Rage, and that being Season 2. If you didn't see on my community page, I um, actually posted it as the picture up on there. So, that being said and done, please have a great night, evening, or afternoon, or day, depending on what time it is for you. And, yeah. Just so you guys know the four options to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so it's no so blah, so you're notified for more content on the channel. That being said, this has been Saki and Akaido stuff final NTMA 2023 here. And as always, I'll see all you in the next one. Peace out viewers, and bye bye. Oh and really big shout out to Lazy Gaming7780. And I really hope he's coming back to YouTube soon. Is uh, he made a new video? I'm not sure if he actually like. Uh, I I didn't read the description if he made one, so I'm big sorry on that. But, anyways, yeah, I'll see all you in the next one. Bye bye. Stars.